Hi everybody. This video is about making your dream app. For the non-technical person, how do we make our dream app? I talk to people everywhere that have good ideas, great ideas. You might be a nurse or a painter, an electrician, a waitress, a musician. Whatever the case is, you probably have some idea of something that you think would be a great app, but you don't know how to get started. So the first thing that we have to do to get started is overcome the fear of the process of making an app. So let's look at maybe why haven't we made our app yet? What are the barriers to entry? So the first thing you probably think is, well, you know, I don't have enough money or I don't know how to program or, you know, what if, <laughs> what if my app sucks and nobody likes it? What if it fails? What if I can't do it? These kind of things. And these are things that you want to shut out and you want to move forward, move past them because really the only way to fail is to not try. And I know that sounds cliche, it, you know, but it's, it's true. It's the fact is that right now there are many development platforms out there that do not require any programming knowledge. I put out my first app three weeks ago. I have no knowledge of Objective-C. I'm not a programmer, uh, but I do consider myself a developer. I put out my first app. It's called WalkSafe. It's available um, in, the, in the Apple iStore, iTunes. <laughs> And I will be putting out another app in a couple of weeks pending Apple approval. So I'm using a development, development platform called Red Foundry. I found them great to work with, but let's, let's get, a, get away from that and get back to uh, how, can, how can you get started making the app that you want to make. So the first thing is, is you've got to begin, you've got to say, you know what, I'm going to believe in myself and I'm going to believe that this is going to be a success. And you want to get into the mentality that your success is not going to be how much your app earns, but that you did it, that you learned how to do it, and that you will be able to do it again. The second thing that you want to do is get technical and get non-technical. So when I say we want to get technical, you want to get technical about what you know about. You're the expert at your job, or you're the expert at being funny, you're the expert at what you know about that which you think will be great and that's good enough. Or maybe you you bought an app that you thought was going to be great but it totally missed the mark and you're saying to yourself, you know, if I did it, it would be better, it would run faster, it would include more details and it would be more of what what I needed as a user. So maybe you, you fit into any of those categories. So, so you're going to you're going to get technical about what you know about and now you're going to get non-technical about what you know about and what that means is that you're going to go back to your old school pen and paper <laughs> yeah literally i'm going to put that up there i did all my sketches pen and paper literally i traced out my iphone and and built everything placed everything where i wanted it to be You've got to write out uh, your content. That part can be done on the computer. But the actual design and layout, which is in one of the most critical parts of the app, it's got, to look, it's got to look good, it's got to flow nicely, it's best if you draw it out. So get yourself a little sketchbook, get non-technical, and think about where you want everything laid back and how you want the app to actually flow. And that's really important. Some people can do this on the computer, but I feel that creatively, it is better to actually bust out the pen and paper, or colored marker, or however you do it, and go ahead and, and lay it out in that way. So the, the third thing that you wanna do is you want to find a development platform that's gonna work for you. So if you're watching this video, then you probably don't have any programming knowledge, and you're thinking, oh gosh, well how do we actually create and develop the app? Well, the good news is there's a couple of platforms out there. I personally use Red Foundry, a lot of great fill in the blank type stuff. And there's a lot of other platforms out there that also utilize a drag and drop format. So you're not going to actually have to uh, program out where each thing is or use Xcode or anything like that, because that's, that's much more advanced. So you want to find a platform that is going to work for you. Red Foundry, I like them. I thought the support forums were 
were very um, good. It, they were very Johnny on the spot on answering questions. And it, it was a good experience for me. It's free. I re really recommend steering clear of any of these companies that are going to charge you, say, $70 or something a month uh, to put out as many apps as you can because chances are your app might not make a whole bunch of money. And I don't, I don't say that to insult your idea, but only that there's um, there's millions, maybe billions, I haven't done my research there, of apps already on the market. Uh, and, and really, you know, you wanna, you wanna learn how to make one, you wanna, you wanna get your ideas together, put it out there, and, and, and set yourself up for mentally your success is that you learned it, you did it, and that you will be able to do it again. So I want you guys to join me for my next video. That's, that's all I'm gonna talk about right now. Um, it, it's basically, these are the things that you need to get started mentally. We've gotta believe that we can succeed. We need to write our ideas down on paper. So it's, so it's more than an idea. You actually have some content, you've got something to offer, you're ready to roll, and you need to pick out your development platform. So in the next video, we will talk about hard and fast items that you need, what you have to have, how much it's going to cost to actually develop your app, uh, go through the process, and, and submit it to Apple. Okay, so we'll see you guys next time.